Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of ServiceNow on demand script include. If you ever wonder how to reuse our site script logic in ServiceNow, this video is for you. An on demand script include, also known as classless script include, is a unique feature in ServiceNow that allows you to define single function that can be called from all the other server side scripts. Okay. One thing to be noted right off the bat. On device script includes are strictly server side. Even if you select the client callable option, they won't work on the on the client side. So without wasting any further time, let's jump onto the instance. And in today's use case, what we'll be doing, we'll be creating an on demand script include or classless script include uh, with one function, and then we'll be defining a UI action and calling that particular UI action, calling that particular script include. Uh, from the particular UI action. So let's jump into, so what we'll do, the use case let's do, we'll create a uh, button on the problem, okay, from which we can create an incident, okay. So let's jump on and then let's create a script include first. So I will be showing you how you can create class script include. So you have to just go to the script include module, click on new. Okay, this button, I think most of the people will always be already be aware about this. Okay, click on new. And then, now let's give it a name. Okay, let's, we'll give it a name as create incident. Incident. And now we know that we get this signature, okay, or definition. For the class whenever a class get created but when it comes to the classless script include what you have to do over here this is just focus on this particular part so over here what we have to do you have to just just take this name off okay remove the entire code off. we don't need any definition because we don't want any reference or any extended object kind of things right and you can simply define a javascript function over here with the name which should match the name of the script include. Okay. And then you can define the attribute. So over here we'll be uh, giving the name as task record. Okay. So we'll be passing a problem over here. And then you can, you can put your, all your logic over here. So for uh, what we'll be doing, I will not add any validation for now, but you can do it when, when you are doing incident. To your online record. And it will be on a incident table. It will make it big. And then gi incident dot initialize and let's set some attributes out for creation of incident so i will be doing gi incident dot short description equal to a record task record right task record dot get value of the same short description and in the similar way we will be defining certain attributes out so let's define five, five attributes so I will copy this out three go Five. So short description is what? Let's define description. And it should be the description from the problem. Then what else we can define? Let's define category. Which will be category then what 
assignment group let's take assignment group and the last attribute let's define the parent so that we can have the we can form the relation between incident and problem so what we can do we can we can we can define the parent attribute so it will be gi incident dot parent and it should be we don't want any attribute value we want uh, let's do id perfect and then we can simply do gr dot insert it's gr incident dot insert and at last we can simply throw the message that the incident was created. Just dot add message. Incident created successfully. So this is how you can define our uh, class script included. So you can see that there is no function defined. There's only one function defined, which for which the only criteria is like the name of the function should match the name of the script include. That's it. And we can simply save this out. And this client callable option doesn't make any sense because if you are defining it also, it will it will not act. Okay, it will not work because the client classless or on demand script includes is completely driven on the server side okay because we don't have the initialize object itself right so let's let's go <laughs> i will just zoom out to the normal context and let's go and let's define a ui action okay. and we want a ui action on problem We'll give it a name as create incident. Table will be problem. No. Right, and we can give it a name as this could form on this could action. And we don't want we want it on update or on insertion. And now we can simply we don't when when we are using this out right how uh, when we are using this classless script include okay we don't have to initialize it out we we can simply directly refer refer the script include name and it will work for us so I forgot the name of the script include so let me just copy it out. Control C. We'll go back to the U action. And let's give the name. This is create script integral and we will pass the current object to you. That's it. And we will save it out. Did I bend it to the form button? Let's see once. No, I didn't. So. That's 
so this is done now let's jump onto the problem and let's see if something is assigned to me no i'll remove the entire filter out let's open this particular problem out and now we should be able to see that button but we are not able to see that button why but it's loading now it got stuck for me okay <clears throat> yeah it is there Let's jump again to the UI action. What we messed over here? Oh, it didn't get reflected. Let's make sure that it got reflected. Perfect. Now we'll go to the history. We want to open the problem record. Till we are not able to see. Let's oh now it's visible. Actually, the form was loaded. Now, if we click on this button, create incident, it should create an incident. So we got the message incident created successfully. Let's verify it out. <coughs> and if we go how oh, I just want to bring all the friends out. Okay. Short description, then there was a description. In category, I'll go with the seven group. I'm not pretty sure whether it was filled or there, and the most important was parent. And I will bring created by also created all. Saved, and you can see this particular record got created just one way before. So, this is how you can use the classless or on-demand scripting tool. The most Im the most important, most significant aspect of this particular script tool is like uh, you don't have to initialize the script tool out. Okay, it's pretty easy to use. You can simply initiate it from anywhere around the platform, wherever the server side scripting are there. Okay. So I hope this video is useful to you. Okay, please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified on my upcoming videos. Till then, stay safe, stay happy, and I'm Thank you.